Looking to troubleshoot car issues on your own? How does the Automaxi Scan MS309 OBD2EOBD tool make it easier to understand and fix engine codes? Today, we're diving into a must-have tool for car owners and DIY mechanics. The Automaxi Scan MS309 Scanner Code Reader. If you're tired of paying for costly diagnostics, this compact tool is about to change the game for you. Let's talk about OBD. Onboard Diagnostics is an automotive electronic system which is capable of a self-diagnosis, indicating and reporting the possible problem within the vehicle. It gives you or the technician the opportunity to easily access the information about the health of your car and solve the problem. Let's break down some of its main features. Wide compatibility. Works with most OBD2 EOBD compliant vehicles from 1996 and newer, including both domestic and import models. Check engine light. Reads and clears diagnostic trouble codes that trigger the check engine light. Freeze frame data. Captures and displays freeze frame data to provide a snapshot of specific parameters when a malfunction is detected. I slash M readiness check. This feature lets you know if your car is ready for emissions testing, making it easier to identify issues that may affect your vehicle's emissions levels. Live data streaming. Shows real-time sensor data, such as RPM, speed, engine temperature, and more. User-friendly interface. The interface is designed for ease of use, making diagnostics straightforward. Why you need the OBD2 code reader. Through OBD2, you can quickly scan and clear engine fault codes, fix the problem with your car, and turn off check engine light with ease. Check your car health condition frequently with the scanner to avoid breakdown in sudden on-road. Enjoy your journey. I slash M readiness monitoring emission control systems perform regular checks during vehicle operation and store diagnostic trouble codes when issues are detected. Quickly get the fault codes definition. No Google search. Quick emission inspections. Get ready for the annual smog check. View real-time data with engine on. About the code reader. 23-inch cable. 2.1-inch LCD screen. Scroll button. ESC button. Data link connector. Let's see where is data link connector is located. The data link connector is a 16-cavity port for connecting diagnostic tools to the vehicle's computer. Typically found within 12 inches of the dashboard center on the driver's side, some models may have it behind the ashtray or labeled elsewhere. How to use the code reader. Ensure the vehicle is turned off before starting. Locate the OBD2 port. This is typically found under the dashboard near the driver's seat, often below the steering wheel or near the footwell. The port is usually a 16-pin connector. Plug the code reader's cable into the OBD2 port. The scanner will power up once connected. Turn the key to the on position and start the engine. Follow the prompts on the scanner screen, which may involve pressing buttons like Enter or OK. Once you press Enter, scanner will start scanning for trouble codes. Select Read Codes or a similar option. The scanner will display any stored diagnostic trouble codes, DTCS, that indicate issues with the vehicle. Each code corresponds to a specific issue in your vehicle. After you've noted the codes, you can use the Clear Codes function on most code readers to reset the vehicle's engine control unit and turn off the check engine light. After finishing, turn off the vehicle Unplug the code reader from the OBD2 port and turn off the reader. 
If you are interested in picking up the Autel MaxiScan MS309 OBD2E OBD car diagnostic tool, I've got you covered. Just check out the link in the description below to grab it on Amazon. Check compatibility with your vehicle model before purchasing. It supports nine protocols compatible with most 1996 US-based, 2000 EU-based and Asian cars, light trucks, SUVs, as well as newer OBD2 and CAN vehicles, both domestic and foreign. It can also be used for some motorcycle OBD2 system diagnosis. Viewing freeze frame data. To view freeze frame, use scroll button to select view freeze frame from diagnostic menu and press enter each exit button. If more than one module is detected, you will be prompted to select a module before test. Wait a few seconds while the code reader validates the PIDMAP. If the retrieved information covers more than one screen, use SCROLL button as necessary until all data have been shown up. Press Enter to return to Diagnostic Menu. What is IM Readiness? Use a scroll button to select IM Readiness from Diagnostic Menu and press Enter Exit. If more than one module is detected, you will be prompted to select a module before test. Wait a few seconds while the code reader validates the PIDMAP. If the vehicle supports both types of tests, then both types shows on the screen for selection. Use scroll button to view the status of the MIL light, on or off, and the following monitors. If the vehicle supports readiness test of this drive cycle, a screen of the following will be displayed. View Vehicle Information A unique set of 17 numbers and letters. Your VIN holds all kinds of information about your car. System Setup Language Setup Unit of measurement. Contrast adjustment. Specifications. Onboard diagnostic trouble codes. This list contains standard diagnostic trouble codes DTCs that are used by some manufacturers to identify vehicle problems. Diagnostic trouble codes are how OBD2 identifies and communicates to technicians where and what onboard problems exist. The first number in the DTC indicates whether the code is an SAE generic code applies to all OBD2 systems or is specific to the vehicle manufacturer. The remaining three numbers provide information regarding the specific vehicle system and circuit.
Now we cover some of the diagnostic trouble codes. This tool makes it easy to get insights into your car's performance, diagnose issues quickly, and even save on repair costs. The codes provide this list are generic codes that may not apply to all vehicles. Vehicle manufacturers may use manufacturer-specific DTC codes that are different from the shown codes. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos on car diagnostics and maintenance. Thanks for watching.